Over the next couple weeks, I'm prepping to go on a trip to New Orleans with a bunch of amazing creators, some of which you may recognize. Samantha March and Simbri Thinks are the organizers of this trip, and a few people who I've been watching for a long time that are coming along include Jen Love of Jen Love's Reviews, Kelly Gooch, Amanda Z, Lauren May Beauty. So it's gonna be a great time, but y'all, I need something to wear. <laughs> I wanna say in like 2022, I did a massive purge of my closet, and a lot of that included like semi-formal clothes clothing that just did not fit me post COVID. And since then, I haven't really been going to a lot of semi-formal events. Like if I'm going to a wedding recently, I've been in the wedding. So like bridesmaids dress. So during this trip, there are a few events where I'm gonna need to dress up a little bit. So I do have a little mini haul of dresses from Amazon and Nordstrom Rack. There are five dresses I'm gonna try on, but I really, really only wanna keep two. That's just a budget slash restriction that I'm giving myself so that I don't get carried away and end up with five dresses that maybe I'm not wearing all the time. <laughs> but I'm also keeping in mind versatility. Every time I shop, I want what I buy to apply to a lot of different scenarios. So keep that in mind as I try these dresses on. And the price of these dresses range from about $27 to $55. So pretty affordable. Let's jump in. If you're new here, hi, my name is Miranda. My channel is dedicated to budget beauty and sometimes a little budget fashion. If that's your vibe, hit subscribe. All right, I am very on the fence about this dress. Definitely gonna need your help. This one's from Amazon and it was only $30. To be quite honest, I am very surprised with the quality for the price. The fabric is lightweight, but it's not sheer by any means, which has been a problem recently with things I've been ordering on Amazon. Like everything's coming sheer, <laughs> but this one does not have that problem. Also, this color is called dark red. And now having done my color analysis, which was my last video, this red is like my red. It's a blue based red, very flattering. Now I love the shape of this dress and when I saw it on other people in the reviews, I loved how it looked on them. I love the little slit, but it doesn't go too high. I like the little flounce at the bottom. I'm just not sure the shape and construction is best for my body type. Here's what I mean. The waist of the dress is just slightly higher than my true waist, which sits about here. So ideally, this is where I would be cinched to get my waist to look, you know, proportionate. But because it's just a little bit higher, I feel like I end up looking a bit wider or more pear-shaped. Like, I feel like this just makes my hips look wider than they are. And you might say, well, Miranda, your straps are adjustable, so just pull the waist down. But when I do that, then the square neck comes pretty low on my chest, and then I feel like it ends up looking just very low and things are getting dragged down. <laughs> now it did come with this sash. And what I really like about this is that they didn't actually put loops on the dress for where the sash sits. So you can forget about this and wear this and it doesn't look like there are empty loops where you forgot to put something in. But you know what, let's see, maybe the sash will help bring the waist a little bit down because it's about two inches. Okay, this is what it looks like with the sash. Uh, it helps a little bit. It helps a little bit. But is it too many bows now? Because we have two bows on each shoulder from the straps and now I have a bow in back. Like, is it a little overwhelming? I don't know. Overall, I have pretty positive vibes about this dress. I love the color, I love the silhouette, and I love how it can kind of be dressed up or down. I could wear this to brunch, I could wear it to a wedding, but we have more dresses to try on and I really only want to keep two. So on to the next one. All right, this is the second Amazon dress. This was $50. Now, funny story, this has been on my Amazon wish list for like a year. This was actually going to be my backup dress for the Taylor Swift heiress tour, which I went to in August, if my wedding dress makeover did not work out. In case you missed it, I upcycled my wedding dress to wear to the Taylor Swift concert, but because I was dyeing it by myself and I had never dyed anything, in my life. Uh, this was the backup in case things went horribly wrong. <laughs> but this stayed on my Amazon wish list because I just thought it was really cute and I love a good circle skirt moment or a skater dress silhouette. Now this is in a size medium. It fits me around the waist, but I gotta be honest, it's a little bit loose in the chest area. Now I do not have a bra on because this does have built-in cups and the cups are helpful in terms of shape and then, you know, not having any headlights come on, but there's absolutely no support in this top. But if I wear a bra with it for a little bit of support, then it starts looking real weird with the cups on top of my bra cups. And that is literally the 
only reason I'm on the fence about this dress <laughs> because I think the color is beautiful. Again, it fits into my winter color season palette. And even though this looks like it's covered in glitter, it's actually like tinsel woven in with the fabric. So this is not the type of glittery dress that's going to shed everywhere you sit. There's no like sparkles coming off. Such a big plus. <laughs> but I just don't fill out this chest area enough and sizing down is definitely not an option in terms of the waist, but it is so dang cute. I mean, there's always the option of butchering it myself and taking out the cups. I can't tell if they're like really sewn down or if they're just floating inside. Yeah, it is sewn in. They are sewn into the actual fabric. Dang. I don't think it looks bad. It just feels awkward in the dress. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Speechless for this dress. <laughs> this is like my dream dress silhouette. All of the draping is in the right spot. The slit is so nice. I might wear shorts underneath it just for security because it comes up a little high, but check out this back or lack thereof. <laughs> so slinky, so sexy. Okay, I got ahead of myself. This is the first Nordstrom Rack dress. This is actually made out of a thin jersey material. So think like t-shirt material, very soft, very breathable, which is a pro because New Orleans is going to be humid, way more humid than I'm comfortable with. So lightweight fabrics are definitely going to be a savior in this environment. However, this dress was $50. And I don't necessarily know if the fabric and construction makes it worth $50, but I love how it looks on me. So does that make it worth $50? Now I did have a $50 gift card to Nordstrom Rack. So if I end up keeping it, I could just say, well, it was technically free because of the gift card. I just know in my heart that this is not worth $50, but I like it enough to like spend the gift card on it. Does that make sense? It's just me, you know, spinning my wheels, girl math. <laughs> and I did actually look on Amazon to see if I could find something similar and in the same material as this cheaper and I could. It is what it is. Now, obviously I can't wear a bra with this dress because of this situation, but I'm not as concerned about the lift as I was with the dress with cups in it because with that like the cups weren't aligning with my boobs <laughs> but with this dress because it's kind of drapey and flowy I don't feel like the positioning of my chest looks weird so with this dress I would probably wear the little flower nipple covers I prefer those over the silicone ones because especially if I'm going to be sweating and it's humid those just pop off. Let me tell you, one time I wore the silicone nipple covers to a concert that was televised and I was in the front row and they literally kept sliding off my body. So there was this railing and I kept having to duck behind the railing to like try to stick them back on and then pop up and there was a camera in my face. <laughs> So uh, not a huge fan. I haven't found silicone ones that work. If you have a recommendation, leave it in the comments because yeah, those things just, they pop right off. Anyway, I really think that this one's gonna be a keep despite the price tag. I, I just have never felt sexier in a dress, seriously. <laughs> uh, we have been joined by Sir Pounce. What's your favorite dress, my boy? This dress was less than $30 at Nordstrom Rack, and typically if you were to ask me to describe my favorite color, this would be in that realm. I've always loved lilac and lavender, although usually I go for one that is a little bit more pinky based versus blue based. And this dress is so fun, it's got these like little fuzzy tinsel things on it. Let me see if I can show you the texture. You kind of see that texture a little bit better. So the texture gives it a pattern, gives it something a little bit more interesting. It is made incredibly well. Like this is definitely higher quality than the t-shirt dress. I also like that it's sort of form fitting without being too tight. It's not a bodycon by any means, but it's, you know, it's giving you my body silhouette. We have another cowl neck, which is super trendy right now, and I'm not wearing a bra right now, but I could with this dress because the back isn't too low. There's literally only one thing wrong with this dress, and it's probably the reason it's going back. 
My eyes have been opened after doing my color consultation last week, and this just isn't my shade of lavender. I feel like this color is making my skin tone look a little bit more yellow. And one piece of advice that Leela gave me that I think is the most like practical, if you can't really tell if a color is your color, if you see the color first on what you're wearing, it's not your color. If you see you first in something that's a beautiful color, then it's your color. I feel like this pops off of my skin versus complimenting it. So it's just now interesting to see what I learned in my color analysis session kind of be put into use while I'm shopping. And here's the last dress from Nordstrom Rack. This was the most expensive of this entire haul at about $55, but I do feel like the quality is there. We have this sort of lace overlay with a pinky beige slip, and it almost creates sort of like a nude effect through the black lace, although it doesn't match my skin tone perfectly. It has sort of like the classic sundress silhouette. I think it hits me at the waist perfectly. Now this one, I don't really need to wear a bra with. There's definitely enough lining here where I don't have to worry about headlights, but also, I don't know, the way that it's sewn, I do feel a bit of support. The real reason though, I think this looks a little weird with the bra is that this pattern here of these two lines, um, they end up not aligning correctly when I have bra cups, but they align perfectly with my shape without a bra on. So this really does just fit to my figure perfectly. I don't know if it's a weird length because it's kind of in between the midi point and maxi point. Technically, if I'm wearing heels, I, I don't wear shoes upstairs in my home, which is why I'm doing this barefoot. If I'm wearing heels, it's a little less awkward, I guess, but definitely lower than mid shin on me. Do you think this would be as versatile as the red dress? Because that's something I always keep in mind when I'm shopping for myself. I never like buying outfits for one occasion. I really try to think like how many scenarios can I wear this dress in? And I don't know if this style is as flexible as the red one. I could definitely wear this to date night and I think I could definitely wear this to other kind of semi-formal functions. I don't know if it's casual enough to wear to like just a brunch, which I think the red one was. This is this is why shopping's so hard for me because I overthink everything. <laughs> All right, let me know what y'all think in the comments. Okay, talking through some of those dresses with y'all, I feel like I'm coming out of this try-on haul more confused than when I went in. So please help me out. Let me know in the comments, what are your top two picks out of these dresses? Today's shout out goes to V Love Forever. Thanks for being a member of the Slashed Squad and join me over in this video next, which is my full color analysis consultation. It was so eye-opening to see which colors are actually the best for me. I'll see you over there. Bye. Bye.